Hey, all right, can you see me? It's really hot in this tent, but I figure I should try it. Um, all right, let's go through some of the stuff that I'm bringing on the trip. I bought a, uh, a little pillow here, Wise Owl, the snoozy camper pillow. Never used it. There she is, about head size. Should, should do me, put that away later. I have one single burner camping stove. This I had from the past, I actually brought it here. It's kind of neat though, super easy to open. Okay, so a camper stove, just got the lid here. It's got a little bowl, a little spoon, slide out a spoon here. Um, this is the main whole stove here. I will show you. So basically all it is is something you screw onto the top of fuel. And right in the bottom here, I'll pull it out. I bought a thing of fuel. Um, it says... Yeah, 100% full, 55 boils of water. So you just take that top off, screw that on here, and then I should be able to boil water 55 times, which I will need for oatmeal and coffee. I need to buy instant coffee, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that goes together. This, this is a pot in this bag that goes on top. Put that away there. Oh, we can do this. I'll set this up. I've never taken this out. I had to save some money some places, so I didn't spend a lot on a camping mat. You could spend like as much as you want on anything, obviously, but a decent camping mat I think is like 100, 150. I spent uh, 40 dollars. The helicopter going overhead just taunting me. I spent 40 dollars on Amazon on this ultralight sleeping pad. Like I said, first time I'm opening in here. Uh, okay, <laughs> how easy is that gonna be to roll up again? Probably not. Oh, I think, oh my gosh, it's just a hand. It's just a blow by your mouth. Instructions? No. Oh, it's probably that, it's probably a one-way valve. Pleasantly surprised. Wow. I'll just put it over in the storage area of the tent. Alright, this one. So, yeah, I went mid range for the uh, the tent and the sleep. So, when do I have all these freckles? So my first camera literally just died because it got too hot. So I don't know if that'll be an issue on the trip. Um, but this is the GoPro. So where was I? Oh, I chose the uh, minus seven Celsius uh, sleeping bag. And it's super light. It's, it's unreasonably light. Well, let's take a look. It's called the igniter. You know, like a flame. So stay all warm, all ignit. Ignit. Is ignit a word? Ignited? Lit? Lit. Ugh. Here she is. The igniter. This child, childlike colors, which I don't mind. It says comfort down to minus one Celsius. Your limit is minus seven. And then extreme is minus 25. So. I don't understand exactly that, but you don't want it to be nice, minus 25. Super important item I decided on. 
this is not really applicable to the camping side of things, but I got a good quality, one of the best probably, um, aviation headsets. That's the Lightspeed Zulu 3. Um, I'll talk about this more separately later. Here's an investment I just made that I really think will come in handy. I've had a smaller version of this. It's a, a booster slash power bank. And then essentially I can charge um, the iPad and the laptop, which I don't know. I, I tested a little bit. It seemed to take a really long time, but it was working. Uh, so I thought it'd be important to be able to charge the laptop um, if I'm camping some nights uh, just to make videos or write or, or make the flight plans for the next day for the iPad. All right, let's try this out here. It probably goes down. Yeah. Okay. My pillow. Look at that. She matches. This isn't going to be warm or anything. Think I'm ready? 